OK, so I've shown you a couple of different ways to use data validation for data entry. And in those ways, we've seen how if the person doesn't put in the right information, they get an error box. Now, this error box isn't very descriptive. It just says that the value is not valid. But wouldn't it be nice to know what a valid value might be? Or even before you start typing, get a little hint as to what you might type. So that's what I'll show you how to do next. First, I'll show you how to put in a little tooltip box that pops up anytime someone clicks on a particular cell. Then I'll show you how to create your own custom error messages. All right, so with the employee ID field, this needs to be five characters. So what I'll do is I'll select the entire B column. I'll go back up to data validation. And this time I'll click on input message. So whatever I type in here is going to show up in a little tooltip. For my title here, I'll title it ID number. Now this title is just going to show up a little bit more bold than the rest of the text and at the top of the message. And my input message here, I will type in, please type your five digit, I'll move that out of the way, employee ID and click on OK. All right, so anytime someone clicks in here, you can see they get a little message box. So hopefully they pay attention to that message box. If they don't and still don't put in the five digits, then what you can do is to create a custom error box. So I'll select the B column again. I'll head on back to data validation. I'll switch over to my error alert. And here, not only can I put in a custom message, but I can also choose what style of message box to use. So far, we've been seeing stop, and that has my retry and my cancel. I've got my information, and you've probably seen this message box before. It has OK on it. And then you also have a warning, and I'm sure you've seen this message box before too. All right, so I'll switch that back over to stop and I will title this one employee ID. Now, if you don't give this a title here, it'll say Microsoft Excel. And my error message will be, you must enter a five digit number only. I'll be a little aggressive there because I already told them once, right? All right, so I'll go ahead and click on okay. And I'll type in a little bit more than five digits and click on enter. And there it is. There's my title of employee ID. There's my stop box. You must enter a five digit number only and I can retry or I can cancel. So those two boxes, one was for information here before they start typing in, that's my input box. And the other one was my error alert. And those were both created by going to data validation, input message, error alert. Test it out. See if it works for you and your spreadsheets.